Welcome back to Phasmophobia. This episode we'll be doing a professional brownstone high school. Um, owner called this morning. Sounds like a dangerous ghost is haunting the area. I've added a handful of equipment and I'm actually got an idea of what I want to do for this one. Oh, and uh, I did notice another change in the current update. Um, it no longer kicks you back to the uh, main lobby every time you finish a solo game. It keeps your server lobby uh, up. But yeah, the objective I want to do in this is see if I can maximize how much money you can get in a uh, professional high school. Uh, which means I'd like to complete every objective, I'd like to find a bone, and I'd like to get at least $25 in photos. So I'm probably going to begin... I'm not bringing a parabolic this time, because... Uh, I'm actually planning on just sweeping uh, from room to room looking for a bone early on and then worry about locating the ghost after the ghost has had a chance to get a little active. So I probably won't be bringing a thermometer starting out either. I think I'm going to come with a flashlight, a candle, and a uh, camera so that I can have the flashlight to see at a distance while I have the candle in my hand to prevent sanity drain while I search the entire high school for a bone. Now I don't know if there's a bone in every map. Most of the time I find a bone but I have had a few that I could not find a bone in even watching my video later I didn't overlook it. There are a few that I overlooked it that it was kind of obvious later on but there are a few I've done where I reviewed and reviewed and did not see a bone. And previously I had thought a bone was available on every map. And apparently I, I might be mistaken on that. Motion sensor right, EMF ghost here. event. Good, no crucifix objective. Accordingly before starting the investigation. I've also written some notes on the whiteboard if you need them. Betty Martin. Um, of light switching. Possibly harmless, but be careful out there. Responds to everyone. Alright, so we want to grab a lighter first so we can light a candle. And bring a video cam I mean a, a photo camera. Now, currently, my sanity is, of course, at 100 when you start out. Now, do I still have that horrible graphics glitch? No! Yay! So, let's just start on the left side. Check the bottom floor on the left side and the top floor. Uh, and we're looking for either... Well, a Ouija board would take a photo of and might actually use it to try and locate the ghost. But I will probably carry it to the lobby before I try that just because I, I'm not bringing sanity pills in with me right now now I don't think I need to turn on the lights when I'm carrying a, a uh, candle but it's just a habit of mine plus it makes it easier to see the area Bones should be centralized like ghost orbs, but as you've seen in some of those since the patch, the ghost orbs still aren't always centralized. I'm going to leave the doors open. I'm not going to bother closing doors behind me. I know that's going to make it harder to see if a ghost opens a door. Um, I may worry about closing them behind me as I sweep back through an area to cut the lights off. I don't know if bones can be in the stalls. But this is another test, walking around pretty much with a candle in my hand to see what my sanity will be at 
when I get back to the van. I know somebody said it pretty much negated the sanity drain for darkness in his tests. And I just want to verify that for myself. You know how I am about double checking evidence. There's the bone. near me. So I don't really need to keep searching the entire place. I can go out now and see what my sanity is at and then start bringing in some search equipment. Um, this was pretty much my candle test. I can also review the cameras and see if a light is on in an area that I did not turn a light on or doors are open. That will give me an idea if the ghost has been active. Um, but yeah, I've, I've always liked candles because of the nice cheery glow. I wish the, the flame was animated, but I'm, I can deal with that. And I cannot wait till they make it where you can actually place them instead of just chunking them and hoping they land upright. Yep, I still lost sanity. I still lost about 10 points of sanity for that short trip. So a candle is not 100% protection against the sanity drain for darkness. Now, did I get a bone photo? Yes. So I need at least four more decent photos to uh, maximize my photos. Ghost photo would be really nice. Alright. Let us look through cameras. Is that an open door, or is that a door without a door? That is, I think, the cafeteria. And it looks like it might actually be open. So I might check the cafeteria. Or, no, that could just be the way the cafeteria door looks, a little recess. Now that light down there which isn't showing up without um, night vision on is the hallway I have lit. I see a light down at the end of that one. That's 12. That's upstairs. Yeah, you can just barely see the room light there. So it was above me. Uh, it is in the upstairs area there, which would be... Um, is that upstairs? That door is open too. Okay, that's looking back. That camera is not pointed that way. That camera is pointed that way. That's that room. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that room. Yeah, it would be behind this camera, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can check that. Um, what do I want to bring? An EMF reader. I'll drop the candle. Bring the EMF reader. And, uh... Probably I'm not even going to mess with the thermometer, this one. Um, 
if I think I've found the room. I might bring one up eventually, but since I, I have so much gear I need to bring up until I get the photos, and I can only bring up stuff like one at a time and carry a flashlight, unless I want to... I mean, even if I try illuminating the area, there's a chance the breaker will pop, pop, and these areas are notoriously dark anyway, if you recall. Now, that could just be bleed through from the floor below. That is a possibility. Because it looked like that room. Maybe it is pointed to the right. Nope, the camera is pointed back this way. Yeah, the camera is pointed that way. So, it might just have been bleed through from the floor below that I was seeing. Because it doesn't actually look lit up. It looked like there was a light coming from right here. Give us a sign. Alright. I guess we are going to have to bring in a thermometer. this light and check the cameras again and I also could go to the middle area and check the cafeteria now since I went in without the candle this time I had lost about 10 points of sanity with the candle search this one was a shorter search but I did have to go up the stairwell So let's see how much sanity I lost now. Maybe about 5% is what I'm guessing. No, it's closer to 10 again. Alright, you've been fairly active. I'm not seeing that glow now, so it must have been from the... Uh, the uh, I can barely see something that looks like it's glowing there. That may just be from the window. See that door there? Oh, that's the hallway. Yeah. still pretty dark in there. Huh. But yeah, that now that I'm not seeing that glow, that must have just been from the stairs below. The light, since I had the hall light on underneath it. So it looks like I'm going to have to actually go in there and look for a sign. Let's get the lobby camera up. Is that the lobby? All right. Um, guess I will take a thermometer since I did not find the room. Give us a sign.
Yeah, that's that one's just recessed. Oh, I heard that close. Are you above me? Now, they may have actually changed it where you can't detect the temperature through doors. I'm not sure, though. I just hear a door open. I think you're above me. Well, I haven't been upstairs on this side yet, so if there's an open door, it's you. Should be another convenience since this is the breaker again. Hello. Isn't this the exact same room I had before? Well, pleased to meet you. Now, that may not necessarily be the ghost room. They could have just visited there and dropped the temperature, because they do have that fixed now. But there's a good likelihood that is their room. Now, I don't need to come in through the lobby anymore, so I can kill some lights. Unless they haven't quite fixed the bug where the doors become inaccessible after a while. I hope they have fixed that host bug. So let's see. Let's take in the book. And actually, let's ditch the flashlight for that so I can carry a candle and the book and still the camera. Of course, that's going to make taking pictures if the lights go out a bit of a pain. But I think the candle will help me more on the stairs. mid-sixties. This is a demon. They're going to be hunting. Well, I brought four of these. Should get some crucifixes in there soon. Uh, I think I'll drop the candle. Um... Well, no, it'll extinguish, so it'll still be a problem. Yeah, this is going to be a little difficult ferrying the items around since I'm not sure what I want to bring. And I'm going to have to keep the breaker on with a candle. But the candle can reduce my drain while uh, ferrying items back and forth at least. Good lord, this hallway got dark. Yeah, things are really dark when you don't have a flashlight. Have a book. Yep, bringing the candle in wasn't the best idea. hoping it would help with the stairs a little bit, but it's a little too dark um, to see without also carrying a flashlight with the candle. The walls are just too far away and the, the ceiling as well. It's not as easy to illuminate the area near you like it is asylum. get at least one ghost photo 
I, I won't bring the camera with me. I'll leave it inside so I can ferry stuff in. Yeah, that, that did minimize my sanity drain. Alright, um, let's... Uh, I'll need a flashlight when I carry the video camera. So yeah, let's actually... Yeah, screw it. Alright, we need the flashlight. And we need to bring more stuff in. So I need a video camera. And the spirit box. Get the dark stuff out of the way. Um, and then next trip, I can bring in the EMF reader and the black light. And then go back to carrying the camera, because that's the majority of the equipment... I mean, of the evidence gathering stuff I, I will need. I really wish this game would make um, sprinting a toggle, just so it's easier to uh, travel while you're outside. I could just set it as a toggle. Or, actually, they should do away with sprint altogether and just make the sprinting speed your default movement speed, and that's it. You can't move any faster. They could do kind of what House on the Hill did and make your character actually move faster when he's being chased. Now let's start with this corner. I've got a photo for when I come back. Where are you? Not in this room. Oh, I need that off. So we've got two pieces of evidence. Um, the spirit box and ghost writing. I've got. I can take a photo of the book when I come back in. So that limits what else it could be. Um, freezing temperatures is still a possibility if it's a demon. Hmm. What are the other possibilities? I believe ghost orbs and fingerprints are the other two possibilities. I might be mistaken, and there might be an EMF-5 ghost writing and uh, spirit box. But we're about to find out. could be missing a ghost orb, but whoop de do. We have spirit box, ghost riding, that gives us spirit, and demon, and oni. Okay, yeah, only three types. Oni is uh, EMF-5, demon is freezing temperatures, and spirit is fingerprints? Yes. So I don't need ghost orbs. I can carry the black light and the camera. So I can get a photo of the book. Um, if there are fingerprints, I can take some photos of fingerprints till I fill up at my camera. Um, and then I will come back with the EMF reader to get my objective for the EMF reader. What was the other objective I had besides ghost event? It was EMF reader, ghost event, and... Hmm. I know it wasn't dirty water. I actually can't remember. Okay, you just interacted with the door, so... also turned off the light in the room. No, I did. You have solved my mystery, ghost. Did I get a fingerprint photo or with that accidental click? Yay! You have any on the... 
Interaction photo? No more fingerprints. Whoa! The way it flicked the lights was kind of interesting. I don't think I, I think I, I don't think I need a camera anymore. Um, this is a spirit, so I can smudge it uh, to uh, reduce its chances of hunting. But I've got four photos. Now that may only be twenty dollars in photos. Let's see, I've got two fingerprints and an interaction and uh, a bone. So yeah, it, I think that might actually be twenty-five in photos right there. So I need the EMF reader and a motion sensor. That was my other one. Well, I've identified you. I don't need to smudge. I will bring in the motion sensor and the EMF reader. Where did I throw the EMF reader? You're pretty active up there. And then I can come back and smudge. Um, if necessary. Till I witness the ghost event. And possibly bring another camera in just to get some extra photos just for Lark. But yeah, the way the lights flickered, including my flashlight, that was a nice troll for a hunt and that seemed new. Yep, you turned your lights off again. Give us a sign. Give us a sign. My EMF reader one. Did you turn off my flashlight? Because I didn't. Stop slamming the door. I'm trying to open it. I wonder if you just set off my motion sensor if I need to move it. So that should be a ghost event. And my EMF reader. So if it trips the motion sensor, I've got everything. I might come back in with a camera just to uh, try and get one more photo just to make sure. But I think I'm I think I'm good if it's tripped the motion sensor. If it hasn't tripped the motion sensor, I'll come back in with a camera to relocate the motion sensor. haven't tripped the motion sensor. So, I'm grabbing a camera. I'll go ahead and take more sanity pills. And what else do I want to bring in? camera, I mean the uh, um, candle instead of the light, uh, flashlight, throw the smudge sticks on the ground and light them with the candle. That will prevent it from being able to hunt and also make it less likely to uh, do random activities.
Now that's been my um my understanding of the way the uh, guy who did the delve showed it to be that it ups the activity multiplier and in order to perform a random activity they have to roll a number higher than the current activity multiplier. But I've heard other people say that it makes them more active. So um Oh, that's not good. Have a smudge. You like that? was creepy, not having a flashlight, not knowing which way he was coming from. Yeah, he did seem to suddenly spike in activity when I used the smudge stick, so maybe the guy who did the delve got the formula a little wrong. Maybe it actually um, does make them more aggressive, that instead of increasing the activity multiplier, it increases something that increases the random number. I don't know. It, it would take a lot of testing to see how that does, or for me to see the formula myself. To really understand how it's supposed to work. Oh, I did get a ghost picture. Yeah, can't see it too well. You can just barely see the legs. But yeah, that, that was kind of creepy. It cutting out the lights on me. And then walking toward me and me not having a flashlight, knowing nowhere where it was. But I was like, yeah, he's moving toward me. I'll just take a picture randomly. Oh, yeah. I think they're, they're doing wonders with this game, with the uh, um, atmosphere of it. Oh, yeah, I've got everything. I've still got, only lost about half my sanity from the last pills. So, now we can see what the maximum you should be able to get, because I, I don't think there's much else I could have gotten. The maximum you can get on a professional high school. Two hundred and ninety-five. Not quite three hundred. Hmm. I could have sworn you could have gotten three hundred, because that's thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, eighty-five, ninety-five. Yeah, ninety-five times three would be uh, two eighty-five, and then the ten more in insurance. I could have sworn I'd gotten three hundred on a. Uh, professional small house which only gives you 10 for the objective so unless somehow you can eke out five more in photos and because at one time I did get 30 in photos you can't break 300 outside of insurance um, which means you died and if you're breaking 300 after dying, well, you wouldn't be doing that on a professional. Because you would get nothing from insurance for dying. So yeah, 295 is the most you can get on a high school. Um, if this follows suit, you should be able to get 340 on a professional asylum, getting everything. Now, it could include in this value, let me uh, leave the lobby. No, it did not include in that value uh, daily challenges, because I found a bone and did a medium map. That would have been 30 extra bucks. Um, so, yeah, that's not included. But 295 seems to be the most you can get in a professional high school. 
But thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.